Hello everyone, welcome back to The Domain. You may see all this Halo Mega behind me, so now a new haul video coming soon. Basically, the Mega Halo Fan Vote pre-sale has been live for about 24 hours now. I've collated all your feedback from across the internet. I wanted to address a lot of people's concerns, talk through the Halo Mega Fan Vote, uh, you know, and give a little bit more of an insight. And this is also going to be completely uh, unedited. I'm just going to be uh, talking to the camera. So, you know, there may be errors, and uh, it's late at night, so I'm gonna be throwing this together pretty quickly, just putting it out with some simple music in the background, and I hope you enjoy. I also have a really important video coming out today, and I've pinned it down below, and I really do appreciate it if you take a look. It's on my new channel, Simon Says, and it's uh, sort of like a letter from myself today to my previous self, because I've been doing YouTube for 11 years, and it's been super nostalgic recently to look back at some of those old uploads, and I use some of the footage, and I have a little play about it, so like a really artistic video, and I'd really appreciate you checking it out. Thanks for the support. So basically, uh, I'm gonna be reading off a script, uh, just, again, all the concerns you've had, because I saw a lot of people very, very positive about this fan vote sale, and then a couple of people with concerns, and I wanted to make sure everybody got a voice and address everybody's together, so I collected it all into one beautiful little video. So first of all, the Mega Halo Fan Vote 2023 is live. It's for sale for two weeks. That means in, you know, uh, about 13 days from now, considering this is the second day, we're going to see that sale close. And after that day, this set will never be available again. This is the only time to buy it over this two weeks. And you know, I've seen some people say, well, why am I buying something that comes out next year? And we've really got to think about this for a second, right? So like, if we go through the history of Mattel Creations right now, they've only been selling Halo for a very limited amount of time. Mattel Creations sells stuff from across the Mattel library, but they've only had Halo Mega products for the last year, year and a half, and only a few at that. The Pelican Inbound, the Banished Phantom, the Arbiter's Quest are the main ones that have been on Mattel Creations. We also had things like Castle Grayskull from Masters of the Universe, but it's been a very limited library. And now they're clearly doing something new and you've got to actually think there's a lot of logistics that come with that, right? Like for a start, um, probably an expansion of warehouses, new staff, new production lines, um, new distribution links. Like there will actually be a lot involved in that because I, and I don't know, because uh, here's the thing, nobody knows. I'm just giving Mega the benefit of the doubt with a few of these things. For example, if they have, you know, general supply chains that are producing Halo products and they're going to all these different stores, isn't it going to be quite a bit different if suddenly that's all going to one warehouse and exclusively selling at obviously a much larger quantity out of one location? That's something to consider. When you're, you know, upset, maybe, maybe rationally, if you can't afford the set right now, but when you're thinking about Mega, you know, why are they only selling it right now and then uh, delivering next year? Production takes a long time. Mega's always been clear about the fact that their sets uh, that they, you know, are releasing right now, they've been planned for over a year. So right now, Mega will have pretty much all of 2024's Halo Mega catalog already ready, like already designed at least, because they have to be ahead because these things take a long time, especially with like prototypes and testing and all these different molds. And right now, I think actually a year window is quite tight, right? Because they say it's going to ship April or earlier. And I think they do, spe you know, specify earlier because in my opinion, I think it probably will ship earlier. And a lot of these things are built on uh, previous uh, fan suggestions as well. For example, the Banished Phantom went up on sale on Mattel Creations last year. And Mattel promised it was going to ship exclusively first at Mattel Creations, but then it accidentally released at uh, Target, no, Amazon first. So I think when they're saying April or earlier, I think April is the final placeholder where they, you know, they don't want to meet that, but they also want to, uh, you know, limit fan expectations. So if they put April or earlier, that means any time earlier, it'll just be a bonus, but they want to put that as the buffer point. So I think it's probably going to ship earlier than April. Again, I'm only speculating on all these things, but I think it's actually going to ship quite a bit uh, earlier than a full year turnaround. And when you think about that as a turnaround, we only decided the weapons and the different uh, colors and everything like that, like a couple of weeks ago. I was surprised that Mega produced those renders so quickly, so credit to whoever did that. But the fact that they've got those renders so fast, there's a lot that has to be done 
uh, in that time period after that. And you take the Flood Gate, uh, well, it's what's it called now? It's changed names a lot of times. It was Traxxas Factory Flood, and now it's Flood Fire, Flood, Floodgate Firefight? I'm sorry if I butchered it, this is one take. But we got that Flood set, and that was the Halo fan vote last year. And that has taken, um, it, will, it will have taken over a year by the time we get to its actual release window, which I hope will be on Mattel Creations alongside the new Elephant. I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to at least suggest quite heavily to Mega that they should make sure to stock those two on the website. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, I've covered one of my points. <laughs> no, basically, uh, I think, in my opinion, the the whole idea of pre-ordering it, uh, I think is a good idea. And it also makes sense to me that you pay up front. I have had reports in that if you pay via PayPal, you can do installments. And you should only do installments if you can actually afford to do that. But if you can't afford it right now and you know that you will be able to in the future, you can apparently do prepayment installments, I think four installments through PayPal to pay for this over time. And there doesn't seem to be any limit. And the fact that there's no limit does bring me to why you have to pay in advance, right? Like, let's think about this. When you had the um, Halo Master Chief Collection SDCC exclusive pack with all six Master Chiefs, that was criticized by fans because it sold out almost instantly because of bots. If bots are a problem, then the only thing Mega can do to avoid bots and to avoid bots literally buying up all the stock and then scalping it afterwards, the only way Mega can avoid that is by having an unlimited number of them. If they have an unlimited number, which they're literally producing to the amount that is ordered, if they have an unlimited number, that's again a problem because if you're not paying up front, then you could just put 20 in your basket and not pay uh, next year when Mega's ready to ship. Like, can you imagine that as a problem for Mega? I always use the analogy. When I uh, buy, say, something like Amazon Prime or a, an app that I'm paying for monthly, I'll, or, or maybe maybe like Netflix. I usually buy a month and then I press cancel and it's gonna last till the end of the month. And then when it gets to the end of the month, I'll decide whether I can pay for it for another month. If you use that and like imagine all these kids that just like, they commit to 10 thinking like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it in a year's time. And then suddenly, oh my God, that's a lot of money. So <laughs> I get it, you know, I, I, do, I do get it. Also, the only time I'll have to actually pause this is when we run out of uh, time. We gotta, we gotta restart. One piece of feedback I did see, which I think is a good piece of suggestion, is that after a certain amount of these, it probably should qualify for free shipping. So I will suggest that to Mega. Uh, certainly if you order 10 of them, you should uh, get free shipping on that, absolutely. Okay, what else? So the price is 65 US dollars, 65 Great British Pounds, and I think it was 98 Canadian, uh, said Brian. I have had a couple of bits of feedback that the Canadian price is a little too expensive. And again, I will relay that information to Mega. I can't promise any difference, but I will make sure that your voices are heard as best I can. Yeah, we've had a discrepancy in the UK for a long time where you take something like an Xbox game, if it's $60 in America, it's £60 in England, when actually £60 is the equivalent of about $70. So it should be $60 or maybe like £53, but no, it's $60, £60, and it's always been a bit of a problem. We do have a very expensive tax handling and import duty taxes in England, so I mean, that can be a concern. For people that don't think that $65 is worth it, I do politely disagree um, and believe me like I, I'm broke but like I don't want to spend $65 I was kind of worried that it was gonna be $80 but I think $65 does make sense here's an analogy when the uh, Warthog and uh, Mongoose originally came out in Halo Infinite they were called the Recon Getaway and the Warthog Rally they were $25 for the Warthog Rally and $15 for the Recon Getaway that comes to $40 and it's the same amount of figures it was four figures in each one and this is eight figures in the final release of Multiplayer Mayhem, but the figures are noticeably much, much higher quality in the Multiplayer Mayhem, much higher quality. They have so many more paint apps. Um, granted, like those jackals are very nice in the Warthog uh, Rally, but it is a much higher quality figure in, in each, of, each of the figures in the Multiplayer Mayhem. They are Halo Heroes quality figures. Like they are gorgeous, well executed figures. And the, the paint apps on some of those helmets is ridiculous. You do, uh, you, you got about uh, eight 
weapons in those two sets, the Recon Getaway and the Warthog Rally. You did get two Jackal Shields as well in the Warthog Rally, but the pe the weapons were unpainted and they were all re-released weapons pretty much. Even like the shotgun on the Recon Getaway was an old shotgun. So a lot of the, I think the money went into the newly designed Warthog and Mongoose. In this case, it's no secret that we have tons of new molds, tons of new molds. I mean, we've got the two new helmets, a new chest, we got two new weapons, we got the cat ears, <laughs> the cat ears, um, a lot of molds. You, I mean, pretty much uh, Mega's usual molding budget for like an entire season. Like it does seem like this is a, fa a fundraiser. Like I hope this is raising a lot of money for Mega, right? Because they're skipping the middleman. They're gonna be making more money than they would on average for a set with this. And I hope it's it's going to a really good place. I hope it's going to investment in the company, investing into better infrastructure for Mattel creations. Like, I really hope that's where it's going. So, you know, yes, there's also shipping involved in that, but there would usually be shipping with other companies. We have to, we have to ask ourselves, right, what are the main problems with Mega right now? What do we really want fixed? The number one is distribution, particularly anyone in the UK will tell you, my goodness, distribution. I mean, anywhere really that is in America, distribution, please fix it. And a lot of people, you know, I would always prefer going to a brick and mortar store. Uh, I would always prefer walking around a Target and not knowing whether I'm gonna find it. It's, it's the fun of the game. It's why I've released so many travel blocks. But at the end of the day, the main problem for us right now is distribution. This cuts straight to the jugular of distribution issues. Like this is the fix. Mattel Creations is the fix. And you've got to keep in mind, Mattel Creations only has a few sets on there right now. They do also have a Pokemon section and in that Pokemon section is a set of the Pokeballs. Like those Pokeballs only retail for about five, six dollars. You can buy a set of all of them on Mattel Creations. Why not have a full set of Halo Heroes? Why not be able to buy full sets or full boxes, excuse me, of blind bags? And I think that's the way they're gonna go. And here's the thing. If you, uh, like, for me personally, I would pay uh, kind of whatever the price is for this set because I see the vision. And this is the legitimately the first set that we've ever designed as a fan base. And I wanna support Mega. And it's not even about supporting Mega sometimes, it's about sending Mattel a message. Because remember, Mega is in the umbrella of Mattel and Mattel is gonna be watching very closely on this. Like Mattel has a huge infrastructure on Mattel Creations and Mega is coming into this and dipping their toes in the water. And if we show really good support for this thing, Mattel, I mean, like, and, like literally any big company responds to good sales. If Mattel sees good sales for this, they'll literally just knock on Mega's door and say, what's next? What do you want? What do you want? Let's list it all. Let's get it all on there. And if we, I mean, it fixes everything, right? It fixes distribution if we can order. Particularly, I think I think um, probably everyone would agree with me on this. The biggest one is Halo Heroes. Halo Heroes is the thing that uh, everybody, I think like more than anything else, because it's the only one that's consistent, right? Like different kinds of sets are always released, but Halo Heroes has been there for a long, long time. And I think people get nervous that they're not gonna be able to secure the next full set because it's like, it's a full collection and you can't miss a series. So. Um, I really hope that with uh, a month, well, with two weeks of really good support on this, we'll then go to the drawing board with Mega and we'll say, okay, a box of Halo Heroes 16 and 17, let's get everyone up to date, let's get them on Mattel Creations. Again, I'm not promising anything, but I'm saying the only way forward is with support, right? Like, I can't go to Mega and say this is what we should do if the sales of this were poor, and... That's why I think it's so important to to support this, especially like I'm in the UK. I need I need better distribution, please, guys. <laughs> uh, I also saw an image floating around a couple of forums uh, where a guy had uh, $30 shipping and he was saying it was ridiculous, but he was from Texas. So I think that was probably an error in his basket because uh, $30 shipping should not be to Texas. So uh, maybe that was just a small issue. I think I covered everything on my scrolled notes. Um, yeah. This set is is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and and, and also we're talking about the, the, the price, right? 12 painted weapons, including two new molds. I, I don't know. I, I think I, I totally understand if this is a little too uh, out of your price range, but I think it's, uh, I don't think it's accurate to call it too expensive. I think it might like, 
it might be too expensive for like a casual collector, but if we're talking about too expensive for the cost, like for the pieces, I don't think so. I think it's quite decent value for just, just how much you get. Like think about how many, how many times a year do you get painted weapons? Like a couple a year and you're getting 12 in this thing. Um, I do think it's a great step up and it surprised a lot of people with so many things with this set with the the, the two weapons drawing and us getting both molds with the cat ears randomly being in there and with all the weapons being painted and extra weapons as well not just eight figures I mean there's eight figures there should be eight weapons but there's 12 weapons I mean it's 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 such quality so um, I'm super uh, excited about this you have 13 days I mean by the time this comes out pretty much 12 days left to order your multiplayer mayhem, there seems to be no limit. And to be honest, I'm being transparent about this, I'm going to be buying between five and 10 of these for investment. Um, you should never scalp, right? Like scalping is the act of buying something and then immediately reselling it. But if you buy something and you store it away for years and you let it materialize, like I've got so many sealed mega sets that um, occasionally I sell one or two, because they've reached a really great uh, market value. Like they've become a collectible piece of merchandise. And I think this will like mark my words, Mega actually has a really good maturity value where like it doesn't really ever go down in value. Pretty much any Mega set, as long as you keep it sealed. I mean, sometimes if you don't even keep it sealed, it's never really gonna dip below market value. Um, and I think this will get very high in the future. That, that Master Chief SDCC set I mentioned earlier, so expensive nowadays. So uh, yeah, um, so yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope I covered everything. Let me know uh, how I did in the comments down below. And yeah, this will ship uh, April or earlier next year. It'll only be available for two weeks. Maybe the window could have been a bit longer, but two weeks I think is, is so much better than like a day that was the same with that uh, SDCC set. Two weeks is pretty good. You can get in as many orders as you want. And there is, I think, pretty dang good value for money here. And I hope everybody agrees long term. And thank you so much for the support. Uh, the views on my latest videos have just been crazy. And I released a new video just uh, a couple of hours ago on my new channel, Simon Says. I'm going to pin it down below. I really appreciate you checking it out. It's me talking through the history of my channel and how I think I've evolved as a YouTuber over 11 years. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there. See you next time. Domain signing off.